My name is Mark Lampert, and I am your audio director and sound designer on uh, Skyrim. I feel like sometimes I st I'll start out with uh, some idea. Oh, it's uh, some series of movies I've seen. Maybe there's something cold sounding or Nordic. It's cold and rocky and icy. Let's do everything with that in mind. Any wooden kind of sounds you hear, doors, drawers, things you step on, everything is creaky and a little more chewed up and rough than it was in Oblivion. After all the work on Fallout 3, I was mostly just excited to get back to the world of natural sound. I was like, man, I'm done with electronics and everything. I want to get back to like nature recording. Nuclear wasteland, there's not a lot of bird and insect material that makes a whole lot of sense to use, just kind of blowing wind and sand and everything. I tried to plan ahead. Before Fallout was done, I would just, if I was out, and I'd uh, go hiking or uh, my parents live in kind of a area in the Appalachian Mountains, so I'll take all the recorders and everything with me and see what I can get. Field recording work is, is fun too. You're just sitting in the woods, um, getting eaten by bugs, but trying to be very still with the mics. And I try to put it just over some sort of background hiss or air noise so I can sort of hear what it's going to be like in context. When I've watched like interviews of sound crews that work on film, they sort of do the same thing. They'll say, yeah, in the beginning they spend all these, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks going out and gathering field sound for what they think they're going to need. And it's like you go to the grocery and you have all your uh, ingredients for the dinner and then you try to do with it what you can. All right, so this guy here, this is the uh, Dwarven Sphere, which uh, made an appearance back in Morrowind, actually. And so he rolls along in this kind of armored ball like an armadillo, and then when the player happens upon him... I like to work with it in sort of three layers, like your kind of your low frequency, the bass stuff that adds all the sense of weight, something kind of mid-rangey where all the meat of the sound is. And then stuff like this, this high frequency stuff, it makes it sound clanky and like there are these uh, intricate mechanical parts to him. But this is a sort of iron puzzle where it, it almost looks like uh, handcuffs. I just thought, well, I should just record it and, uh, you know, get all the sounds I can from it and then maybe one day I'll use it. This is what it started off from, which of course was me just shaking this thing or dropping it into my hand or something like that. And so I may end up using this for some other creature's walking motion, mixing it in with something very heavy and it'll sound like a giant suit of armor or something for the player perhaps. But I kind of get the most use out of sound effects when I don't already have like a specific end goal in mind. If it's just something that sounds interesting, like when you're out field recording, I find it's kind of better just to go ahead and record it, get all the sounds I can from it, uh, and sock it away into a sound effects library. And then inevitably, some weeks later, I'll be working on something like this and think, oh, hey, I've got that one element that I put away, and use it in all sorts of things. This is the spell called Iron Flesh, which is uh, an armor enhancement spell for the player. A little bit of it came from a sword that I borrowed from Emil Pagliarulo, one of our lead designers. And uh, that's kind of the bulk of where the uh, armor sound comes from. It's me just shaking the sword in its scabbard, I think. Yeah, a little bit of that in there too. And then this is a, uh, a UI sound for your quest getting updated, which was a little bit too over the top. So I didn't use it at the time. But I like to recycle stuff. I kind of hang on to any old version of anything I've done, and I may use it as part of some other hole like this. The magic sound effects are difficult because there's no real-world equivalent for them. I just try version after version after version. Um, I rarely hit it the first time. It's a lot of, uh, a whole lot of trial and error. And trying it out in the game, going back here, messing with the sound for a bit, Going back, trying it in the game, okay, it still feels really weak, or it's crazy over the top powerful, it's just a healing spell, it shouldn't sound aggressive or something. Maybe I can use that as something else. So, uh, as with everything, it's just iteration, 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 until we run out of time, and then we ship the game.